Yes, kiddies. Run away. Very fast. Hey, everybody. This is Elfinator, and welcome to my new side project. And you know what? I really had to give this thought. I gave this a lot of thought, and, you know, I had to give... I had to give the point to this game over the other Rare Rare game that I was thinking about. But, you know... Who doesn't love them some Conquer? Who doesn't? You know what? I gotta. I had to pick a game that cusses as much as I do. <laughs> but anyway, welcome everybody to Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day. And I normally like to. I normally like to have not a lot of uh, dead space in my videos. So at least, oh hey, there's Banjo above the fireplace, um, which kind of uh, makes. Hey, where where already knew his uh, <laughs> what was gonna happen to him? They've laid him out to dry. And also, you can find Kazooie in here if you go to chapters. She's the uh, the umbrella in the back. But anyway, um, I know there's. I personally, I don't like to have a lot of dead space in my videos, but. Because there's uh, there's not too many cutscenes, but there's a lot of there's quite a few cutscenes. Uh, but for the major cutscenes, we're gonna try to be quiet because they're just so well done and they're fantastic. So for these opening cutscenes, we're gonna try to be quiet. So please, everyone, enjoy the fantastical presentation that Nintendo and Rare has wrought. Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> um, and in what is definitely a first for me, um, I actually have to voice over this intro because uh, a couple hours ago when I posted this video, I got an instant copyright claim against it by a company called Contour New Media who says that they own all the rights to the opening of this game. Now, I call shenanigans on that one. However, they give rights to, they uh, they give uh, credit to the guy who composed this intro. So if there's any validity to what they're talking about, I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to have any strikes. So I'm going to do the smart thing and outsmart them. I'm going to silence this intro and talk over it. <laughs> Take that one, Contour New Media. But anyway, um, you guys aren't really missing much pretty much what's uh, what conquer is talking about is he has like a list little monologue it's like hey you guys would never believe how i got to be king and so play my game and you guys will find out uh what kind of convoluted shit i had to go through to uh, end up with uh kingship that's pretty much all he's talking about um <laughs> man i cannot believe i had to do this uh talk over this intro but you gotta do what you gotta do i suppose but uh, thank you guys for bearing with me. And past me, we'll see you guys in a little bit. And future me, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Also known as the greatest game Rare has ever made. And one of their last great ones. Well, at least they went out with a bang, eh? Oh, she's an asshole. Put the phone down. Oh, oh, right. 
<laughs> yep, he's already drunk. No a bit about that myself. What a way to start a game. Vomit on your shoes. If only games nowadays would start off that way. Maybe you'd have more memorable ones. Just saying. Ah, uh, what a. <laughs> that's a perfect way to explain this game. It looks nice, but it's really nasty. <laughs> On that business up there, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, dealing with that in a few minutes. Never really. Oh, well, I don't know. It just never occurred to me that a cat could be king. But then again, thinking about it, if you have something in your house that that shits in a, uh, I don't know what you would call it, shits in the uh, shits in a box and says, "Hey, I just pooped in there. Go clean it up." Yeah, they're definitely king of your house. Oh man, he's pissed. No milk for him. AKA Saturday. <laughs> but um, anyway, as Conquer right now, this is the extent of what you can do. That's his jump. And this kind of, that kind of wobble thing was his punch. So really, the um, we really don't have very much that we can do right now. Other than kind of just wander around in this, uh, in this unknown area. And kind of... And try to make our way over here into this carrot patch, it seems. And we're going to be meeting one of the... Uh, I'd say, yeah, I'd venture to say he's one of the oddest characters in the game. That's quite unfortunate. Oh, you can't help me at all. Uh, uh, actually, uh, yes, I can. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Beardy. I scared birdies. Oh, hey, Beardy. What a name. Hi. Beardy. Step over here. Man, 
If only the scarecrows in Ocarina of Time were like this. That'd be awesome! <laughs> I don't know, that's like the thing that I always think of whenever I see this guy first off, are the uh, scarecrows in Ocarina of Time. And I will actually the uh press B. He can't explain it, so just just hit the button. And it makes a nice ting. Ting! That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> How, what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. He was it's thirsty. Sensitive to contacts. Try it over there. Okay. Actually, there's a couple other things um, that you can do, and I do suggest trying this again. Because you get. Because there's all sorts of, uh, I think there's a couple more things that we can do. It's <laughs> and I think this is the last thing that we can do. I think this is the last time we can press it. Yep. And two and he's already down for the count. I believe that's called a lightweight. No, I was kidding. <laughs> well, I've already learned something. Uh, take some Alka Seltzer, and you have. Um, it'll relieve your uh, hangover symptoms. Huh. I feel a lot better. Right. Let's get out of here. So an alpha seltzer can fix many things. If for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. But you will have to have watched them at least once. And actually, one thing to note about that is that even though you've seen the, like, if you've played this game in a um, in another file, it doesn't count that. So I have to watch this. <laughs> Because I was thinking of just, um, I was thinking of, of just, uh, just skipping these and then just talking about the moves later, uh, or at least until I've, uh, I got to them. So I'm going to try to get through these as quick as possible, just not to eat up too much time. Oh, okay, so they take a page right from Sonic. And, uh, <laughs> so this is Rareware's, well, yes, at least they did not pull a Gabora Gabora. It says, do you understand this? No or no? <laughs> but there is a, uh, fantastic, oh, crap. At least you can't die in this first part. But, um, here's some great work of physics at work here and that's that the water is flowing out of this hole and it's flowing down the falls into that same hole so that wow they say infinity does not exist well I tell them play conquerors bed fur day you'll see what I mean <laughs> but anyway there's a um, there's a fantastic character that we uh, have to meet up here. Um, I don't even know if he has a name. I'm just going to call him Gargoyle. Um, <laughs> he's the washed up guy from Gargoyle's Quest 2. Uh -huh. <laughs> but anyway. This guy. If you think you're coming this way. Yeah. You can think again. Oh, you're a real charmer. I just want to get... He back. is. Please. I agree with you, Conker. No. I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture? Oh god. He's gonna start bitching about right architecture now. now. <laughs> it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. 
But I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? It well, is. If you dare to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. And I don't want to do that. Because um, he'll just start kicking our ass. And I think he'll actually knock us down into the little basin down there where uh, where we were originally. Oh, not originally, but uh, a couple minutes ago. Oh, crap. Come on. Bollocks. I'm calling him. I'm calling bullshit on that. I was on the platform. He just decided to slide off. Whatever. <sighs> but anyway, as we're kind of just uh, wandering along here, and we'll, and as we get up here, I will go into like another little, um, uh, what what do you call it? A little tutorial about um, our new our attack in this game. Which I think is a lot better than the uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day Reloaded uh, weapon that they give you, which is just a baseball bat. And I think it has like a nail at the end, so it looks like a so it's like a Louisville Slugger. Um, in this game, they give us a frying pan, so I think that's a, I think that's more more in line with what Conker uh, like it relates to Conker. But anyway. I guess I should talk a little bit about how I came how I came to uh, come a, come across this game because um I don't know I, I, I think it's a little bit interesting in if how I got a hold of this game uh, come back here key jeez oh come on there we go that's how we do it but um at, back at school. I have a, there's a, downtown, there's a, uh, there's a retro video game shop that I like to frequent, and the first time I was there, I uh, decided to check around and see what I could get, and I ended up running into uh, one of the games that I was looking for, which was Diddy Kong Racing, and I'm thinking, oh man, I want to get that, def oh wait, why did I... No, I already hit that. Bam! Take that, bitch. But anyway, um, underneath the uh, regular glass where they have, uh, where they had, sometimes they have boxed games underneath the glass. Um, but usually those are those are behind the counter. Um, but I saw Diddy Kong Racing there, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get that. So it happened to be the. Uh, the owner of the store who was checking me out at that moment in time and whenever I was checking out with Diddy Kong Racing I looked underneath the uh, glass underneath the register and there was this game Conker's Bad Fur Day in box with strategy guide and I was thinking I looked at the price and it was $55 and I was thinking man I don't know if I want to pay $55 for Conker's Bad Fur Day um but I mean, I know how I like, I've always wanted to have this game, and then uh, I left the store and telling the telling the owner that uh, maybe next time I was back if it was still there, then I would uh, I would pick it up. Well, I only made it out a few steps out the door, and I stopped and I thought, you know, when's the next time I'm gonna have the opportunity to buy Conker's Bad Fur Day? And I don't have to pay out, uh, pay like an arm and a leg for it out on eBay. So I went back in. I said, you know, I'm gonna take Conker's Bad Fur Day. And she said, I'll knock off five bucks for you. So I went from 55 to five, or 55 to 50, just because I walked out the store and came back. Hell yeah. So that's uh, so that's my little story with this game. That's how I came across this copy. So hopefully I can get Earthbound the same way too. <laughs> that is a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that's more of like a 500 in a bajillion chance, or I don't know, one in a bajillion, I should say. Don't be too 
Oh, last time. Is that how he got how the uh uh, no comment. No comment. But uh, of course, I, I love it how they have the they have the uh, German scientist doctor stereotype here. I love it. Man, if I could have anti gravity chocolate, that would be awesome. Anti gravity chocolate. Like, open up a Hershey's bar and have it just float there above your. Uh, Above your counter. Yeah, that would be awesome. Or I could fall and lose a piece of my uh, chocolate, which is now, which is uh, our health. But anyway, um, I see that my time is getting very thin. And we... Well, actually, the first person that we have to talk to and solve their problems is that be so I will save that till next time so unfortunately all that stuff that we saw with like those what looked like to be hornets and hauling off that hive in the cutscene we'll have to deal with that next time so I guess I'll leave it off here with the perfect <laughs> with the sign that sums up this game perfectly so thank you all for watching Rate, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. And uh, I hope you guys look for look forward to the rest of this fantastic game. So until next time, this is Helfinator signing off. See you guys.